Hello and welcome back everybody to day 73 of our 7 Days to Dive Madness series. I am Lainey and today we're going to be working on the restoration of the Fates Motel main mansion right over there. This is a fully cosmetic thing for the most part I think but I think it's going to really add an accent to the perimeter that we are really lacking. We will have our tower and that will be majestic of course. But the tower does not have the character that this old gothic slash Victorian slash who knows what home does. And everybody needs a home right in the apocalypse. You don't want it to be too industrial. You know, we have the walls already, everything for protection, but this doesn't need to be for protection. This can be for enjoyment. But before we tackle this beautiful restoration project, I want to show you what I worked on last night, which is this tiny solution to our horde base problem. Whether or not it will work, team, I have no idea. Basically what I did is I removed the wall and I removed the flooring and then there was some dirt. It wasn't too big of a deal. And we've added doors here that will close, allowing a path through so that if they spawn in here during Horde Night, they will just whoop, hopefully and exit this way. Now, another alternative would have been to switch this to a normal gate, like the one I manually have to open or switch that to open uh, to zombies too. So if it detects a zombie, it would open as well. Which, you know, I might still do because that will make it so the zombies hopefully don't attack the door at all. And yeah, that's really the only weak point, I suppose, other than that. And now that it's detached, the ceiling situation shouldn't be a problem. They shouldn't climb up here. They have no reason to, basically. So this has been hopefully, uh, I wanna say tentatively, resolved. Now, as we walk in through the porch, the door has been removed. That is one of the things that I'll probably have to go into creative to get because you can't get the white doors. You can buy some stuff from the trader, so we'll do as much as we can with that. But we come into the foyer or, you know, the entryway, whatever you want to call it. We have to get rid of all these panels. Uh, there's a lot of things. We definitely want access to the second floor that doesn't involve us jumping. And stuff like this needs to be redone. You know, this, this paper is really bad right there on the walls. These couches are offset really badly, Warren. Like, why is it not right there and right here? I, I will never understand. And we have a fireplace that doesn't have anything underneath it. It would be really lovely if they had at least some burnt wood down there or something. I, I don't know where that leads, so we're not going to worry too much about that. But we, we do have something weird going on in this house it, that it has like two uh, kind of, what are you called? Two living rooms, I suppose. Or maybe this is just a sitting room and that's the dining room, obviously. So this obviously needs to be fixed. I do not like it. it I think I prefer just to have <laughs> one whole like living room and one dining room. If that involves us tearing this down and making the dining room table long and majestic, that's probably what we'll do. Now over here, we're going to have to fix this wall and we're going to go into the kitchen that just needs a replacement on the cabinets. Hopefully I can make them. But all the appliances are here and they're working and I don't mind where they are. So we're probably going to keep them. At most, we'll do a little bit of painting here. So it should not be too bad. This is just the hallway. Not a big deal. And the basement actually doesn't bother me too much at all. It is very cool. It has some ducks in here that are, you know, very realistic. And I kind of like the look of it. I love the look at the brick down here. We're just going to repair the bricks that are broken like that one and that one. All you have to do is upgrade it if you didn't know. And it will, you know, make it into a full block again. When we walk into this room, you can see that there's a little bit more damage there that needs to be redone. And that wall probably needs to be redone as well. I can't look at it like a pile of dirt there. That doesn't make sense. But this is like a storage area. We're not going to keep this, whatever, this murder room. I have no idea what this is. Like to keep somebody trapped here forever or something. I don't know. We're not going to have anything bad in this place, okay? It's going to be nice and safe. And so for the most part, I'm just going to add more clutter here to make it look like a real storage area. Now the upstairs. I wish this light was working. Look, we'll make it happen. We'll make it work somehow. And we have this area here that has no purpose. I will design something for here, maybe a pool table, at least something like that. And this leads up to the attic. This is a actually pretty nice bedroom. It doesn't have much that I would hate about it other than, you know, fixing things basically. Basically have to clean up the place and fix it. But it's even got a fireplace. I mean, how lovely. Just had to repaint, do a couple of cosmetic things and it should look just right we have a nice little bathroom there then it's just very little very little done to it this one needs a whole new roof but you know it will be what it will be and no guys we are not keeping it as a coffin weird room I, I again i have no idea what i'm gonna do with this but it's not going to be this 
You know, we'll turn it into an office. We'll turn it into a playroom. I, I don't care. <laughs> it's not going to be that weird. I promise. And then we have another little bedroom here. And going upstairs to the attic, I just wanted to show you what it looks like at the moment. We don't have much to look at, to be honest. Some of these could be bedrooms. And I think that's what I'll do. And with that, let's get to building because there's going to be a lot of cleanup to do in here. And so we did. We got rid of all of the trash, picked up the mines, and got rid of these ridiculous security measures. Apocalypse be gone. The windows would need to be opened. Blocked doors would have to go. Out with the old, in with the new. The demolition was finally underway. We upgraded all the broken blocks. Got rid of old and broken cabinets. And of course, these horrendous coffins. None of that. This is a proper home. The outdoors would need some work too. Because once done, it was time to decorate. Time to paint. Okay, after all of that work. Well, we're back. Almost nighttime. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. But uh, we fixed all of the base. You can see that we have painted some of the blemishes, let's call them. And I've also added these here. I don't know what it's, it's concrete. It's some sort of material. I've also changed the bottom. It used to be orange and I've changed it to this one here with the lines. I'll talk about it more in depth whenever we're actually, you know, doing the walkthrough. But I just wanted to show you guys that the outside was in fact done-ish. And over here, I went a little bit rogue. I was going to do the garden, but I've decided to make like a little bit of a, I guess you can call it some sort of water feature. I made a bunch of buckets, but I didn't have, well, I didn't want to spend as much iron as I needed to get all of the buckets. So I'm going to fill this in really quickly. We're going to add, uh, I don't know, we, we don't really need anything special. We could probably just leave it in flagstone. I've copied the same thing that we did over there here. Well, I tried uh, this one. In here, this little slanty piece had to be creative moded. Uh, just so you guys know. For some reason, that just doesn't exist. Uh, I tried. I threw a little bit of wood. Let's just call that a day. Now, over here, I did want to replicate this look here. You see how there's like a plate at the bottom of that, which raises this up a bit. So I'm going to do the same here. We're going to use one of these plates. Do we have it? Yeah, we do. Right there. And we're just going to gloop it. And what that will do is that we can paint this a little bit different from the top one. And it will just make it look textured like it does over here. I don't know if I'm going to leave it the same color there with the same stone. But, you know, textured is all that matters. It's just going to give it a little bit more of a detail. I don't know what I'm going to do at the front here. I don't know if I'm going to put any barrier or if I'm just going to dump the water in there. But the water needs to be dumped anyway. So I figured before it gets too late. Is it already too late? 19th. I don't know. We can make it. We can make it. Our bicycle's outside for some reason. Okay, so it's fine. I don't think they've replicated it. I think I just probably left it out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and fill these up. Now, it, there might be a few zombies there. I don't know. I usually go to this motel by the house. And so we're going to just go visit them really quickly. If there's a zombie, you know, I brought my rocket launcher. We'll handle it. We'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. And I think just I just figured we might as well get this done while it's still daytime. And then I will show you guys the progress and, you know, the finished product tomorrow morning. I think that's the best way to go about that. Oh. I already woke them up. But yeah, this is, um... It's gonna be a process. We're gonna have to do this several times. Like, in fact, uh, since I'm not using the paintbrush, let's go ahead and move that away. I probably won't use that. Probably won't use that. Obviously don't need that right now, so... This will just make things a little bit faster. All the buckets of water. If you've never filled up any kind of water feature in your house, you have to do this. There is a water block, but you can't get it unless you go creative. Is that a cop? Oh, just a random feral cop coming after me. You know what? <laughs> you want to come after this? You want to come after this? <laughs> I learned not to mess with me. I got the boom booms. Here we go, and we just click it in like if it's a normal block. It's very weird how it works. You can also make it fall in. So like you can put it right there. It will eventually fall, I promise. Yeah, there it goes. Just looks so weird. 
I try to just lay it down like it's supposed to. I'm gonna have to make a couple trips. It's okay. I kind of wanted to kill some zombies. I was getting a little bit bored at home. Okay, there we go. We're gonna have to just make another trip. Oh, that's not bad. It actually came out perfect. Right? Like, it filled up the whole thing. So I only need one more, and this should fill it up high enough that I'm more than happy with it. Nah. I probably, looking back on this, should have just done one layer. And, you know, does it need to be this this tall? No. <laughs> really, it doesn't. But who cares? I like it. So I had to make three trips because the water was being a little bit dumb. I was trying to dump it there at the back, but it wouldn't fall in right. Like, this little corner wouldn't, if you know what I mean. So... Just make sure you line it up against the block. You could also use other blocks like these. So if you place them on top of it, it'll flatten things out a bit. So that is one thing I would recommend. Just put it on the block above the one that you want to get watered on. And it will kind of even things out a bit. But there it is. It looks pretty good, I'd say. I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, it's going to have to be painted, obviously. But as it is, we are at 2200 and we're safe. We're at home. These zombies should not get to us if we actually use the doors properly, which is what we're going to do right now. Yep, those are... make sure they're open. <laughs> it would be terrible if they actually do get in here because I wasn't paying attention or I was, you know, leaving something to fate, so to speak. But we still have a lot to do, just so, so much. I mean, I can show you guys the progress, but the progress is not much in there. All right, as we work over here, at least in the entryway, the most important part is obviously... You know, something looking a little bit majestic, a little bit grand. And I think this does okay at it. I, I don't mind the ceiling. We're just going to keep it like this to make things easy. But this yellow, man, it's just, it looks so scuffed, right? It looks so worn down and so terrible. Not that anything we'll find will look much better than that, to be honest. But like, maybe something like that wouldn't be so bad. And it still has a red which is pretty impactful, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I think we're going to go with this one. I think it's like my favorite red that goes on the wall. I've tried several options, as you could see. I think I'm going to keep this as the bottom one, you know, at least for the time being. Let's see how that goes. And the options are very limited. <laughs> that is one thing I wish they would focus on, just like maybe one of the alphas or one of the patches. I know they've been redoing the zombies a lot, and well, hopefully they'll work on our characters soon. But the gameplay of this game is pretty solid. I mean, there's a couple things that I would change. Once you get your tier 6 weapons and your tier 6 uh, tools and all that stuff, there's really not much to live for, so to speak. Your food comes so easily. You know, you can pretty much kill anything with the amount of weapons that you get. So it's all just maintenance, right? Getting ammo for them, etc. Which isn't the, the, the most exciting thing. So I think what they should do is they should focus on that. I know they're focusing on early game. But honestly, I feel like the early game of this game is so solid. I, I don't mind it at all. I feel always threatened when it's early. I feel like it's in a good spot, I think. I mean, maybe it goes too quickly, but I mean, who cares? It's fine. If the end game's fun, then it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. It actually looks so much better. Now, the floor down here is a big, big issue. This floor is not going to do. I think I do want a wood floor, so let's see if we can find one that will fit kind of what we're looking for. We could use the new one. This is the new one that came with the latest alpha, I believe. It's like the polished wood. It doesn't look too bad with that one. It actually matches quite well. So let's go ahead and do that. I will leave the bench there for now. I'm considering it. But let's at least give this house a new floor. Here we go. After all the hard work, Probably almost two days worth of decorating. I did not think it was going to take this long. Mind you, it's not all finished. It's not all complete. But this will give us a nice start. A place where we can build upon with hopefully all your wonderful suggestions. Now we're going to be starting on the outside, which I have shown you a little bit. But I went ahead and painted it so it looks much, much better, I think. I love this stone out here way more than I love the original one. Or the one that you get out of cobblestone. So I think that looks really, really good. And then there is these areas here where they're just concrete. Which I think uh, make it look a little bit different. Just a little bit better. Over here, we're also going to be, you know, enjoying this pond on the outside. Let's picture that we can have some fish in here. You know, live a very sustainable life. 
that or we just love fish. So going up the steps here, let's go ahead and go. Don't look at everything else, mind you, right? Nothing else is finished. But if we go up the steps here, you will see that we're still using the original stone that was here. So we went ahead and we kind of replicated that right here on top of these little boulders as well as at the bottom of the pond just to kind of tie it in together. And as we walk in, I have chosen to use these. I am apprehensive because, guys, I don't know why we can't have a clean window. Like, please, I can clean a window. But you will notice that out here we fixed all of this. So now our porch looks really, really nice and new. Uh, some choices are very unique, let's just say. <laughs> but it looks very, very different. Let's just, uh, let's just start there. I cannot for the life of me find out how to paint this. Uh, I might have to remove this one and just use this one. I couldn't get it to copy, guys. I could not. So it looks a little bit weird, but just, you know, don't think about it. There's still a lot of work to do here. The chandeliers are my favorite part. I love these things. I don't know why they're not craftable in the game. Please, fun pimps, please. I need these in my life. But basically, this chandelier here just makes the entrance look a little bit more majestic. We've also added some carpet, but our choices in carpet are limited, let's just say. I went ahead and painted the walls red. They're a little bit shiny because they're the cabinet red, but look. We're gonna pretend we're like in a Mariah Carey New York City apartment situation. All our walls are shiny. These are the only walls that are clean. I mean, I can't do anything about it. We have a bunch of portraits. Maybe these are the family members, you know, people who have lived in this home, people who have maybe have died in this home. It's to be determined. So if we walk left, we will see that this is now a proper living room with a bunch of seating, a lot of couches. Um, I went ahead and used this fireplace. I couldn't find anything to put down here, like the burnt um, wood. So let me know if you guys know what it's called. I could not find it for the life of me, but we have done like a reclaimed wood at the top of the fireplace, so we're pretending at the very least. And we have made this room kind of very gray. So it's a little bit shiny, but you know, like I said, just pretend, just pretend guys. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> There's no clean paint wall. I tried, I tried. Um, I could have done more wood, but then it would have looked more brown. So I think this is a nice compromise and it's very neutral. We have some bookshelves here so that, you know, our people that are sitting here can go ahead and read. There's a little lounge right there and proper seating and proper couch. I probably want to put a carpet here. I just couldn't find anything that looked really good. So we're just going to ignore that for now through the main arch. And you will see this is our majestic dining room. It looks very different than it did before. And the reason is because I used this marble cabinet thing on the walls. Again, guys, <laughs> I had to get a little bit creative to make something look new. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> this game does not like clean things at all. We have a brand new shining marble table, of course, with our little chairs that have their little cushions on them. I left this clear because I didn't want to add any more couches or anything here. And I've done something a little bit weird, you know, <sighs> who knows if this worked out. But you know, like some kitchens have like a serving area. Let's pretend that at some point this house had a butler. And so, you know, you got your food through here and they would just serve you. I don't know. I just, you know, suspend reality. Walking down the hallway through our beautiful red carpet, you will see our mannequin. Yeah, it's to keep us company. You never know, these are lonely nights in the apocalypse. But if we turn around, we will walk into our kitchen that has been completely transformed. I think that went a little bit crazy with this one. It is what it is. We continue the cabinets with this top cabinet right there, so it kind of matches when you look in here. And we have some freshly picked pumpkins, very nice freshly picked mushrooms also very nice and uh, a couple of fresh bread signs because if you're gonna lie once you might as well lie twice now up the stairs which i've also turned into this black marble i really really love that i went ahead and turned all the walls into the red i kind of i kind of love it and i went a little bit crazy with this riveted metal i don't know guys i could have gone with wood i could have gone with anything but of course i went with this uh, we have a few posters here. Maybe these are our favorite movies. This is more like a fun place, a fun hangout. Uh, you can see there's a pool table here, a, a few couches, you know, for your friends when they come over. If anybody ever comes over. Over here, we have a side washroom. Uh, it's kind of like a laundry room, I suppose. We have our little laundry basket, a couple of cabinets there. Let's pretend this is a washer and dryer, but I'm pretty sure these are both washers. The dryer looks really bad. 
I couldn't put it in here. Now going up the steps, this is the room that didn't get finished. So the attic, the basement got somewhat finished, but the attic is not finished yet. So I'm not really sure what to do with it, but I'm looking forward to maybe working on this in the future. If anything, though, for resale value, I think we have done an excellent job on this attic. It was a disaster. It looks so much worse. Now, at least it looks like you could have a living space up here. And to turn this house from a two bedroom to a, I think this could be a four bedroom plus a little office or something would be incredible. Or more like five bedroom plus an office would be incredible. Because let me show you what I've done with the other bedroom. So if we walk into the bedroom, you will note that it is very, very bright. But that was on purpose. I wanted it to look bigger, brighter, just kind of give me a good vibe when I came in here. You will see that there's shoes here in the shoe rack and a little bit of storage down there. And plenty of storage indeed. Some clothes racks because, you know, if you find anything out in the apocalypse, you need to be able to bring it home. You need to have a place to store it. So we have plenty of that as well as a little safe. You never know who could bring it to your house. You know, this place is not the most secure. Actually, it is pretty secure. But you never know, right? They could get ingenious. And then you would have to figure it out. We also have a little desk here. Very, very nice. And a wonderful bed with this fireplace that does have the little thing that I wanted to add the fireplace downstairs, but I couldn't add. And in my idea, sexual tension might be Lainey's favorite movie. So she has a little picture of it up there. I don't know. Now going over here, I love this bedroom, by the way. I went crazy. It is very purple, but... Look, it looks cleaner. And we have a little dress rack, some shoes, you know, books, just in case. You know, you have to have some entertainment. But yeah, that's it. That's it for the other bedroom that is for nobody. And over here, we're going to the only bathroom in this house. It is extra, I will say. But I love how it came out. I really do, okay? I, I don't know, maybe you don't love it. It's not my, my taste, you know, it's not like my flavor of bathroom, but for a house like this old, this is the best I could do. This top, it goes really well with this house. It's like an old fashioned house. You also have the candlestick, which you will see around the house in plenty of areas. The candlesticks make sense, all right? We're in an apocalypse. We might not always have lights and you always want a candlestick. You don't want to be caught out in the dark versus a zombie. I mean, we know we don't. So let's just uh, enter the, the fun room is what I'm calling this. I put chandeliers on here, of course, for reasons. And we made a bathtub or some sort of, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a bathtub or jacuzzi, something fun. So I made little steps here so you can sit, you can relax, you can have a nice time. <laughs> we have some windows here because reasons. And we have a couch here with another chandelier. Again, you don't want to be caught out in the dark. But if the light goes out, you want to make sure that you always have light. The last thing you want to do is be caught naked here, taking a bath while the zombie is chewing your guts. No, no, no. Not acceptable. We have areas for your shoes, obviously, your clothing, so you can change in and out. Um, a little bit of a carpet and a changing room. And after all of that, the last thing we need to look at is the basement. Now, surprisingly, I was able to do a lot with it, even though I didn't think I was actually going to get that much done. When you walk in, you have the old laundry room, which is still here, and I left it like it was. I just think it looked fine for a basement laundry room. I mean, it is what it is. It's a basement laundry room. I've also added some workout equipment here, because you need to stay trim. You need to stay fit. You gotta be able to outrun those zombies or fight them off. So, you know, we put a couple bicycles, we got a little bench, you know, your little lifts. And hopefully you will be in good shape to handle anything that the world throws at you. Now here, I went a little bit crazy. We were going to turn this whole area into like a little bit of a storage. But I decided to turn this area into like a workstation, I suppose. You know, you have your tools here. You have like a table where you can work, a sink for whatever reasons. And then uh, we have more storage here. I will show you the guns and all of that. That is very important. But this is a little storage room with more storage, more things. And we have a dartboard because, you know, sometimes you don't want to make too much noise, but you want to be entertained as well as a basketball hoop. I think this is pretty ideal to be down here at the basement. You'll make the least amount of noise. Just makes sense, guys. And back here where we used to have that murder jail cell, whatever it was, we have turned it into a little firewood station. Right? So you bring your firewood that you've chopped up with your axe down there. 
and you chop it up into better pieces or you turn it into something that you need with a saw. I don't know. I just uh, kind of figured this was going to be pretty good. I've also made a vent, right? Because we don't want to die from the fumes and <laughs> from, you know, the dust. So, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of everything. I'm thinking of everything. And yes, I know you have noticed the guns. I've added some gun racks here. I don't know, for reasons. I just wanted to look a little bit different. You know, if you were living through the apocalypse, this is pretty important to have. I was going to put some in the bedroom, but I figured maybe they have one in the drawer somewhere. And this is just kind of like their arsenal over here in the basement, which should be safer, I'd say. And then for a little bit of fun, <laughs> I've also added a shooting gallery. I don't know, sometimes you got to practice, man. So, I, I don't know. Overall, I'm pretty happy with what happened with this basement. It's not overly decorated and there's not a lot going on, but at the same time, there is. Now with that, I feel pretty happy with the look of this house thus far. The attic still needs some work, but I'm just going to leave it up to you guys to decide what goes up there. Ideally, I'm just going to be adding some bedrooms there. It's not going to be anything too crazy. So that's why I left the whole room for you guys to decide what it goes there. And if not, it's just going to be a finished attic, right? Whoever moves in here next after I've died in my permadeath can go ahead and do whatever they want with that. But at the very least, they would have a place to lay their heads, a place to rest, a place to call home. For now, it is mine until it's not. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.